So I'm um, finally gonna restore some of these ponies. So some of them are really ratty, like this one with the hair, but some of them are a little bit smoother, like these two, the hair didn't get too tangled over there. So I'm using a brush from Nigel's, which I love. It's a little toothbrush that we use in hair. But ponies actually get cancer, which was really interesting. This little spot right here is a cancer spot. And basically, I guess over the years, the plastic kind of deteriorates and kind of changes colors. So that's one of the issues with um, some of the older ponies. Okay. Oh, you can see actually a lot of them on, on the star right here. There's three, boom, boom, boom. Today I'll be using the anti-residue shampoo and conditioner from Hask for all my pony tail needs. Um, they did say not to submerge it in water because you can get mold and stuff on the inside through the neck. And I'm gonna use my brush I got from Nigel's with a little palm olive dish soap. So she did say if you are going to rinse off the pony, just make sure that it's tilted upside down so the water doesn't go inside the body. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hask shampoo and conditioner to kind of go through and clean the hair. Sometimes there's little scuffs on the pony right there um, that are kind of harder to get out just with scrubbing and with soap. So she had mentioned to use a magic eraser, which I'm going to use today. And it works really well, actually. Look, you can't even see the skid mark anymore. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that me and my husband are in quarantine with my two small boys. If you hear um, chaos in the background or noise, um, or cartoons, it's them. Okay, so now that I've actually done about four ponies, I kind of got a good grasp on how I'm doing it. I am um, kind of unsealing the neckline, I'm popping the head off. So if you take the pony hair on the top of the head and you part it straight down the middle, it already has a nice gap in there. and I can still glue it evenly on to the base. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. And I got my little hook. But this is what the inside of a My Little Pony tail looks like. It has like a little, almost like those little metal hair tie clamps and a washer to kind of keep it in. I'm using the InStyler blow dryer today because it's lightweight and powerful, so it helps get the job done quick without hurting your hands. And I don't even have to hold it out of my way. Um, so the next I will be taking a razor blade. Now that I've kind of cut a hole in there, you can kind of see the glue is kind of connecting the hair inside. So that's kind of what it looks like now. So the final thing I do is I make the hole in the rear a little bit bigger because it needs more space because I'm putting way more hair in there. So now that the head and the body are prepped for hair, I now need to prep the hair. Now that I have the four sections cut, I'm gonna use the two ear tab sections for the head. The reason why I'm gonna do that is because it's easier to hide this amount of fabric inside the head, um, kind of like that. And we'll do the two pieces together. The reason why I'm utilizing the pieces that I cut up off the top part of the wig is because there's less fabric long ways and I can easily just close it up and hide that portion inside of the pony body. So now that 
that the two pieces are sewn, I actually already put the head piece in the head. I kind of just take the fabric part, shove it in there, and then I kind of spread the hair apart. Um, you can kind of see right in there, that's where all the fabric is. And then um, the tail takes a little bit longer because you can't really put it in that hole. You're gonna have to like weave it through here. So I found the best way to do that is to put this in a braid and kind of ponytail the ends to make it really tight and weave it through. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so now that we have the braid, see it's pretty thick at the top, but when it comes down to the bottom, I got it pretty tight with a whole bunch of rubber bands. And I also have a latch hook. So I'm gonna take this little tiny hook portion right there, and I'm gonna grab the hair through the little hole. First, I'm gonna feed this part in here and get it as close to that hole as possible. So now we have that there. And then I'm going to take my little hook and get it in there and try to grab that pony. And then you just kind of pull it out. as you can. to the ponytail part and into the head and the next I will attach this head and I will also go ahead and um, style the hair so I'll kind of fix this hair and blend it and you'll see all that next. This makes it so much easier. Now I'm not gonna have to glue this head on and it'll swivel. The one that I kind of broke down and shown you, that one is not gonna swivel. It's just gonna kind of stay the same. Okay, so now that she's basically done, I'm gonna go ahead and let her head dry. I might apply a little more glue and kind of finagle it a little more. But for now, I'm just gonna let it sit and harden. And now I'm gonna show you how to finish the hair and blend it. So you kind of see how it's frizzy and it's kinked. Just go in there with a little heat. Now that all these ponies are redone and look fabulous, next week I will be showing you a video of how I install them into a massive wig. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a good day!